Hey, what's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. Here this question is asking to evaluate this integral 0 to 0 0.5 e power minus x cube dx correct to 4 decimal places. Now this is not easy to integrate in this form. So what we have to do is we have to convert this one into power series pattern and then we can integrate easily. So this is something you should remember, right? So e power x is in power series format, this is going to be look like this. Now we can use this information in order to solve this problem, right? Now let's see how we can convert, use this one to convert this one into this pattern. Now we know that e power x is this one. So what's going to be the e power minus x cube? All you have to do is simply exchange this x value with negative x cube, right? Now let's do that. So here we are going to have sigma and summation notation n is equal to 0 to infinity instead of x I plug this negative x cube so this is going to be negative x cube power n over n factorial now what what we can do is we can separate this negative one out of this <clears throat> so this is going to look like summation n is equal to 0 to infinity and if I take negative one outside this is going to be negative one power n and then we are going to have x power 3n over n factorial right and now we have to integrate this one using this one right so if we integrate this one from 0 to 0 0.5 e power minus x cube is same as integrating this power series so this is going to be n is equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 power n x power 3n over n factorial integrating power series is easy because we only have to deal with this this part right here we don't have to do anything for the other things right so if we integrate this one this is also going from 0 to 0 0.5 and if we integrate this one that's going to give us sigma and n is equal to 0 to infinity and here we, we are going to have negative 1 power n and then x power 3 n plus 1 over n factorial and then we multiply we should multiply this one by 3n plus 1 right so this is going to be the integration and that's going to go from 0 to 0 0.5 now let's plug 0 0.5 first so here we are going to have summation n is equal to 0 to infinity negative 1 power n and then if we plug 0 0.5 for the x value this is going to be 0 0.5 power 3 n plus 1 over n factorial 3 n plus 1 right and if you substitute 0 for this x value the whole thing is going to be 0 so we don't have to worry about that part we can simply so subtracting 0 but it's not going to change anything now the question is asking to correct find the value correct to 4 decimal places integral correct to 4 decimal places so what we have to do here is we have to start from zero and go until we get four zeros like when we calculate the value we should get four zeros and we have to neglect that value and add the values before that now let's see what we get if we plug zero because this is going from zero and if we plug zero for this one negative one power zero that's going to be one and then 0 0.5 power 3 power 3 times 0 that's going to be 0 so 0 0.51 is going to be we're going to remind so this is going to be just 0 0.5 and in the denominator 0 factorial is 1 then 3 times 0 is going to be 0 so only 1 is remaining so the first term is going to be 1 I mean 0 0.5 and the second term we are going to have 1 right here if you plug 1 for n values negative 1 power 1 that's going to be a negative value so we are going to have a negative sign here and then negative 0 0.5 I mean 0 0.5 power 3 times 1 that's going to be 3 plus 1 that's going to be 4 right so 0 0.5 power 4 over 1 factorial that's just going to be 1 and 3 times 1 going to be 3 plus 1 that's going to be 4 so we are going to have 0 0.5 power 4 over 4 and the third term we are going to have now we have to keep calculating because we have to go until 4 decimal places 4 zeros now this is just we don't have any zero right here and if we calculate this one 
that's going to give you 0 0.015625 so this is 10 so we have to keep going so this is 1 right we substituted 1 now let's substitute 2 if you substitute 2 this is going to be a positive value because negative 1 power square that's going to be negative 1 square that's going to be a positive number so this is positive now if you plug 2 right here this is going to be 0 0.5 power 3 times 2 that's going to be 6 6 plus 1 that's going to be 7 so 0 0.5 power 7 on top and in the denominator we are going to have this is going to be 2 right 2 factorial 2 factorial so we can just show it right here 2 factorial and 3 times 2 is going to be 6 plus 1 that's going to be 7 <clears throat> and if you calculate this one you will get 0 0.000558 now we have 3 0 but we are looking for 4 0 so we have to go to the next value and see whether we get 4 0 so next value we are going to plug 3 right here so negative 1 power 3 is going to be negative value because that's not power so we are going to have negative and if you substitute 3 for this one this is going to be 3 times 3 that's going to be 9 9 plus 1 that's going to give us 10 so this is going to be negative <coughs> 0 0.5 power 10 over we are going to have 3 factorial and then we are going to have 3 times 3 9 plus 1 that's going to give us 10 so we have to multiply this one by 10 and if you calculate this one that will give you 0 0.5 0 0 0 0 6 2 7 6 so this is what we are looking for we are looking for zero uh, four zeros so if they say four decimal places we have to look for four zero and if they say five decimal places we have to look for five zero so it, it will be like that now the neglecting term is going to be this one so this is the one we are going to neglect now we have to add these three together the values before this four zero together and that's going to be the answer for this question that's going to be the uh, integral correct to four decimal places and if you add them together that's going to give you 0 0.484933 so this is going to be the final answer for this question i hope this helps thanks for watching